This boat has been all over the world. You rarely ever see an aft cockpit that has an aft deck, and this boat actually has a bit of an aft deck. You guys know I love Cabo Rico's beautiful woodwork all around. Super high quality, everything feels solid. What's up everyone, today I've got for you a tour of an extremely solid, proven 42 foot blue water cruiser that's just itching to sail around the world for a second time. Now she's ready to take you beyond the horizon for much less than the average price of a home these days, so stay tuned. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us a lot and it's totally free, so I wanted to thank you in advance. Before we get to the boat tour, I want to thank My Heritage for sponsoring this video. Now, sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing, so I also want to thank you as well for understanding. I'm really excited for this one, and so was Randy, because we think knowing your family history is important to understanding who you are today. So, when the number one family history service wanted to partner with this channel, we of course said yes. We both built trees on my heritage and ended up discovering some really cool stuff like old yearbook photos, newspaper articles, and census records. What you're looking at right now is the 1940s federal census. This was written when she was 10. Where's her name? Right here. I like that. So we have this old picture of grandpa. Look at that. Oh, it's in the must the lip is fixed. Let's restore the color. That's my daddy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's really fun and easy, and you could even find new relatives or find out that you're a distant relative of someone famous. That being said, I'm just getting started and still researching the origin of the colonnette name, as no one on my dad's side really knows where it came from. But I'm determined to use the tools that my heritage offers to figure it out, like the ability to easily search 19 billion historical documents. With instant discoveries, you can add a bundle of family history information all with one click, adding up to like 40 to 50 people potentially quite easily. Personally, I was really surprised by the wealth of information on my heritage and the documents I was able to find. That being said, it is something that is ongoing, updating over time, and you get what you put into it, meaning the more information you provide, the more information you can find out. I'm excited to keep going with this, and if you're curious about starting your own family tree, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below to get 14 days completely free. So what's there to lose? Thanks for sticking with me. Now let's get back to the boat tour. All right guys, I just stepped aboard and we're gonna go forward first. And I'm really excited because this is actually the second Cabo Rico 42 that I am touring. So I've toured another one of these before. It was hole number one. This is actually hole number two. So it's appropriate that this is the second Cabo Rico 42 I've filmed because the first one I filmed was hall one, the second one I filmed is hall two. So guys, very, very good shape. Again, just like the first one I filmed, everything's beautiful. Meticulous owner, nice wide side decks, teak was just redone. You've got handholds going all the way forward and easy to traverse side deck, easy to go forward and backwards and safe. You've got running back stays right here. And then plenty of ventilation for the cabin up here. Hatches and door raids. And then coming all the way up to the foredeck, there is a horizontal windlass, dual bow roller, and a large bow sprit. And wide, really. Like, that's one of the wider bow sprits I've seen. Walk up here, all the way up, past the roller furling head sail. I like it. Take a look aft. Cutter rigged boat. This boat has been all over the world. She's ready to go, ready to go cruise again. Let's take a look at these bow lockers here. Foot controls for the windlass. single bow locker up here so not a chain locker chains gonna drop down and then you've got a big bow locker right here it looks like there is a wash down as well so that's nice nice high bulwarks and then you've got pass-throughs for your dock lines looks like the owner added a stainless tube between these two lifelines probably to lash something to them like diesel cans jerry cans water cans, fenders, really nice. You've got a slab reefed main with lazy jacks, 
double spreader cutter rigged with a radar up there on the mast. Continuing aft, you actually have three separate jib and Genoa tracks. So you've got options based on what head sails you're flying, which is nice. And then a very well protected aft cockpit. The main sheet is forward of that cockpit. Good for safety again. Four big door aids, so tons of ventilation down below. Lines leading aft into the cockpit and it looks like relatively new running rigging. Nice and shiny, Lumar 54 and 44 winches on either side. Nice big T-shaped cockpit back here. Protected, safe. And then something I like about this boat is you rarely ever see an aft cockpit that has an aft deck and this boat actually has a bit of an aft deck behind the aft cockpit and as you guys can see the owners have cushions here so you can lounge back here should you desire so that's kind of nice and then you've got an aluminum tower on the back let's go ahead and take a look at that from the outside actually that'll be a little bit easier so you've got this dodger and connected bimini this is all one inch stainless a split backstay and then behind that an aluminum instrument arch with a silent wind generator. You've got three solar panels and then your VHF antenna. Everything you need for cruising as well as your outboard for your dinghy right there. There's a ladder off the back so getting in and out of the boat is relatively easy now. Moving these cushions that lets us see the aft deck and you guys can see there's seats on either side. So nice place to, to sit and relax back here and you're kind of out of the way of the cockpit which is nice and then back here unfortunately it's locked so I can't get into it but it is a big aft compartment so a nice aft deck locker back here and then just forward of that I believe are gonna be propane lockers yep two two propane lockers and then looking at this cockpit, this is a very comfortable T-shaped cockpit. You've got one, two, three more lockers in the cockpit. Four actually, five. So these little ones over here, I think you're gonna be mainly for running your rigging down into. So these little, you know, if you wanted to, your rigging can run into these and kind of be out of the way on either side, so that's nice. And then unfortunately again, these guys are locked. However, this one is not, so let's go ahead and take a look. So, ample storage, you know, tons of storage on deck. I mean, you've got a bow locker up there, you've got an aft locker back here, and then three cockpit lockers, and then two little compartments for lines, so. Lots of storage on deck. I like to see that a lot. And then a nav pod with Garmin instruments. The Edison pedestal. And two more winches on the coach roof there with lines leading into the cockpit. Good visibility all around. You can see your sails through this window when it's open. And yeah. I'd be comfortable taking this boat anywhere for sure. Let's go ahead and go down below. All right, guys, I just got down below. And you guys know I love Cabo Ricos. And, you know, I've already toured this model. I toured hull number one, and this is hull number two. So it's interesting to see the difference between boats of the same model and yeah it's just cool so this boat has more white less wood so it's got a brighter interior but obviously same build quality so still beautiful woodwork all around super high quality everything feels solid let's go ahead and go all the way forward 
you know it's a good boat when you step down below and it just smells good. I know you guys can't can't smell it, but there's a well taken care of boat smell. It's probably teak oil that I'm smelling, but or some kind of oil. But it smells good. We've got a nice forward cabin up here, nice V berth, little seat, storage down below that seat, little vanity to starboard here, and some more, some more storage. Louver doors for ventilation and airflow, and then aft of the forward cabin is the single head on this boat it's the only head and it is a beautiful big head here with a separate shower i'm gonna go ahead and step on in so i can show you the shower very nice very nice shower area and i am you know i'm i'm in the head in the shower I've got the doors closed and it doesn't feel cramped. And I said doors, not door, because this is where we came from, right here. And I can leave that open. So we came from the forward cabin here, but there's also a door to enter the head from the salon. So I love that setup. You guys know every time I see a boat do this where you have multiple entries into the head, I like that because it gives you options. Just helps with privacy all around. And it's a good thought and it's a good design. So I just stepped out of, of this door. And as soon as you step out of that, you've got a narrow hanging locker, little bar area with more storage, air conditioning, heat, more storage behind this long settee here that could also be used as a pilot berth. And then a U-shaped main settee here and a salon table that can fold up so that it becomes bigger and also go all the way down so that this becomes a big double berth as well should you need that and again just beautiful styling it's the the Hirschhoff styling if you're familiar with that meaning teak accents and white bulkheads then there's a forward-facing nav station here. Beautiful, comfortable forward-facing nav station. Your, your technical, your data hub, your navigation hub, and also in today's modern age where you're probably going to end up working on your laptop if you work from home or work from your boat. So pretty good area. And then looking to port of that is the, is the big U-shaped nook-style galley here companionway stairs nice and not too steep and then lots of cold storage fridge and freezer storage little ledge up there my camera case <laughs> more storage behind there gimbaled stove a nice big sink Corian countertops Tons of storage, you guys. In counter storage, you know. Dry storage for food, and then access to seacocks down there. And then your engine is going to be right below all this. So, you know, you can open this up here. This panel, this bin can actually come out. It is connected right there because there's a drain. So I can't pull it out now. But. You know, you've got storage here, and this is just, look at the craftsmanship here. So you've got these little solid wood, solid teak box in, in a door, and it fits in there like perfectly. And it's all an oddly shaped door, and this is obviously used as a spice rack because you can smell the spices. It smells really good. And then below all that that's your engine so engine access down below so you know you can access the engine 
because there's panels all around that can come out like right here so depending on where you want to access the engine you can pull something out you can pull you can access it from the top the side i believe you can even access it from the front so very nice and then scupper down there into the bilge and then on the starboard side you've got an aft cabin and this aft cabin pretty big aft cabin it's not full beam but it does go under the cockpit so you've got a pretty good sized double berth back here very comfortable this would probably be the kids room if this were our boat but you've got tons of storage again this is truly a you know a blue water boat this boat's already been all around the world and it's still in really good shape and has a meticulous has a meticulous owner so she is a beaut and i love when boats incorporate overhead storage like this you don't see this a lot but it's a really really nice you know it looks great and it's practical so very nice all right guys it's time for the full continuous blow decks walkthrough from bow to stern So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, personally, when I think about what a virtually perfect 42 foot range blue water monohull might look like, this boat comes to mind. She's a great layout for a couple or a small family and build quality is just top notch. She's ready to go. She's already proven herself. And to be honest, she's a great price as well. As with all of our videos, the current asking price and broker contact information will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Remember to do all the usual things and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong.